The fundamentals of surfing, compression, extension and rotation drive all manoeuvres in the sport. There are loads you can try. But most surfers get trapped into doing the same manoeuvres over and over again. I would put myself in this category sometimes. But I want to see my students who are on their way to surfing glory via the surfer's roadmap start to find rhythm with the wave to fit the elusive mold of the swell to touch tap and dance their way to these three new surfing maneuvers that you probably haven't tried before let's go <laughs> This video is brought to you by my online surf school, The Surfer's Roadmap. Whether it's taking your surfing rapidly from beginner to intermediate in one day, or joining us for surf flow movement sessions to increase your surf mobility, thesurfersroadmap.com is your go-to for all surf progression. Join over 6,000 students smashing their surfing goals via the link in the description below. Number one, a roundhouse cutback. A roundhouse cutback is what some old school advocates would call a real cutback. It involves not just wrapping off the top of the wave and finishing the manoeuvre halfway up the face, but actually hooking all the way back to the white water and rebounding off it with an additional turn. When I'm at the wave pool, I try to encourage surfers who don't commit enough to their top turns to try a roundhouse cutback. This immediately gets them looking back to the pocket at the very least, if not rebounding off the foam. And that's a key step here. It's to look and point all the way back to the white water behind you during the cutback portion of the turn. You'll need to be somewhat less aggressive in your approach because we need to maintain speed throughout the figure eight arc here. A key moment that I'm looking for is to get the leading arm over the white water on the rebound in order to get that nice boost of speed as you change directions to continue riding the wave. One, compress. Two, extend. Three, half compress. Look and point back to the white water. Four, rebound off the white water. Five, continue riding. Number two, and this is actually by request, a floater. One of the more underwhelming maneuvers you can perform, but definitely a functional and helpful transition on the right part of the wave. A floater is actually incredibly easy because it doesn't require any significant change in direction, but rather a delicate placement of the surfboard over the lip of the wave so that you can then ride back down. I find that often floaters feel better than they look, so don't go claiming too hardcore after you watch this tutorial and smash your first one. Floaters are best reserved for a section that is a little too fast for you to perform a manoeuvre on, but one that opens up to a slower section afterwards. It can also be performed as a finishing manoeuvre on a closeout section as well. Key feature, speed. Floaters are safest and coolest when you're going fast, and that's because you're actually going to put your surfboard up here on the lip of the wave, which is basically dead water. It doesn't really offer any speed. So once you're up there, you can only work with what you had before you got there. And remember, you'll need to float for a moment, but then also have enough speed to sort of recorrect and jump back over the lip as it breaks down the wave. The technique here is vague, but think about approaching the floater very horizontally and with a ton of juice. Then delicately extend your way onto the lip and think about being light footed whilst you're up there. Then, just before you start losing too much speed, look back down the wave and kind of jump back over the lip as it crashes down. One, compress. Two, extend horizontally. Three, float lightly. Four, jump back down. Keep in mind here, a heavy section can be a knee buckler on the floater recorrection, so be ready to bail off to the side if you need to. All right, here we are, number three. It's the lip line finish. It's a classic world surf tour move. I ummed and ahed about including this one and differentiating it from a floater, but it is different and it's a worthy turn to learn. The lip line is a classic finishing turn on a steeper wave where you might feel uncomfortable going for a re-entry or a cutback. It's when the pace of the section and the projection of the lip is too much for most turns, but enough for you to follow it. And that's what we're doing here. We're literally placing our board slightly under the lip and almost grinding it as it pitches outwards towards the beach. 
This one, similar to the floater, can be pretty hardcore if the wave is really heavy. So again, a key ingredient here is speed, so that we can ensure that we project in front of the lip and don't become part of the lip. See that reverb once the lip hits the water? That breaks boards and it breaks knees. So we need to get over it or in front of it with our lip line. So the surfer needs to approach the section delicately, but with a lot of speed. Approach it horizontally, knowing that you need to follow this line of the lip as you grind it. Square off the shoulders and the hips and half compress. We don't want to hit that lip already rotated because it'll lead to some awkward falls, that's for sure. Then as you follow the lip down, watch it with your eyes, prepare for impact as your board connects with the flats and compress carefully to control the landing. Number one, read the lip carefully. Two, compress and extend horizontally. Three, tidy shoulders and hips over the board. Four, half compressed as you grind. Five, carefully recompress as you land. There you have it guys, three new surfing maneuvers that you may have not tried before, but here's the challenge. Can I do all three on one wave in that order? We'll see. I'm gonna go and give it a crack. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, let me know in the comments. What else should we cover here? Join me on Instagram, at Cal's Broccoli. I'll see you guys soon. Wait, I need my surfboard. <laughs> This video was brought to you by The Surfer's Roadmap. It's my online surf school built for you to take your surfing to the next level, whether you've surfed for one month or one decade. It doesn't matter, progression is still possible for you. Check it out via the link in the description below.